And Sophie, uh, we talked a lot about returns and expected returns for investors. Where do you range in, in space? Can you explain us a bit more where you, what's your strategy and what expected returns um, you can deliver? Yes, um, so uh, we at Siam run a merger arbitrage strategy. Mm -hmm. We're very niche in the sense that we only do merger arbitrage. We don't do anything else in the wider even uh, driven space. Um, and our expected uh, returns for this year is around 5-6% really, as it is, it is quite a uh, bumpy environment, but we still expect positive returns. So far, we're positive around 2.5% since the beginning of the year, and we think that trend is going to continue. Okay, so we're really positive for the coming years. Yes, because we do both North America and Europe, and okay. North America right now is being very active. All right, so that, that's interesting. Uh, in terms of uh, how you see your, your business developing, where you come from, tell us a bit more about what experience you had as setting up a new uh, venture, on the fund, what are the key challenges? I guess the uh, main challenges today are um, to uh, be able to continue being in business. Uh, right now we manage close to uh, 50 million and we're happy to have gotten to this level uh, and still be there almost two years after the launch. Um, I guess also one main challenge is to find new investors. Uh, going forward because even though we uh, came to this stage we need to get to the further stage to the next stage which is the hundred million level and um, the investor base we talk to right now is um, a bit uh, scared by all the current events mm -hmm. in Europe mm -hmm. so we need to be perseverant basically and continue the hard work we're doing okay yes we've heard of a lot about investors are not sure about the future of euros and that that's you feel when you you talk to investors uh, that is suddenly a concern yes definitely uh, they are more on the back burner waiting to see what is going to happen in Europe um, even though they want to allocate they know they're under allocated that they're losing money by mm -hmm. being not mm -hmm. allocated still they want to wait and see a bit more what is going to happen but when they do allocate it's going to be very quick All right. and we want to be there good so you think that this summer we probably bring a bit more visibility hopefully Hopefully. Hopefully, yes. Great. Uh, last thing, um, your, your phone is run by three women, okay, which is quite uh, unusual. Yes. yes. Um, do you see a lot of values there or different ways to approach things and, and decisions? What, what's your experience there? Um, being uh, women in the industry um, as the co-managers basically of, of the company is I think an asset even though we also have men in the team and I want right. to emphasize that because what is interesting is the combination uh, of the two and that's where we bring value most probably. Um, otherwise it's it's not very different from being an all-men team probably. Right. Business as usual. We're Business. professionals before being women. Okay, great. So we wish you all the best. Thank you very and much. And have a nice conference. Thank you. Bye-bye, Sophie. Thank you.